Hello and welcome, I'm Abrax and I need this pistol. When we first saw the busy little bee appear in the first phase of the PTS, it was looking like an exotic ready to be earned and then thrown in the stash, never to be used again. It was designed around the idea of building stacks, shooting different targets, then letting off a single shot with all of the stacks on a target that you shoot for a second time, or from your first shot from another weapon. Not bad, but not good. That is, until its rework hit the second phase of the PTS. The rework follows a similar concept, but with a small change that completely alters how the weapon plays, and it is a real game changer, to a point where I'm thinking of adding this to my daily build. Let's take a look at that rework. The Busy Little Bee. Its base damage is at 79.9k before adding any attributes from your gear or character, with an RPM of 460 and a magazine size of 30. For the attributes, it comes with 15% pistol damage as standard, being a pistol, and for the second attribute, it comes with the good all-round 10% damage to targets out of cover. And for the talent, of course, we have Busy Little Bee. Each shot to a different target gives one stack, up to 10. Each stack gives 20% weapon damage increase. Stacks will activate once the agent switches weapon and will last for 10 seconds. That means you can equip the pistol, pop shots at any enemy you can see, and when you hit a target, you'll see this little icon over their head. When you switch to your main weapon, you get 20% weapon damage for every NPC you hit, up to 10. I mean, that means at least you can get a very quick 20% extra weapon damage buff just by popping off one shot. And at most, we can be running an extra 200% weapon damage for 10 seconds, which is huge, especially with an assault rifle or an LMG. And this is also a pretty forgiving weapon, with it coming with 30 rounds, so a few misses isn't the end of the world. This is definitely a weapon I can see myself adding to any build where I'm not already relying on an exotic weapon. For example, take my go-to build. I usually run Orbit for my sidearm, a named exotic pistol with perfect finisher, which increases both crit damage and crit chance on kill for a quick damage buff. This works well, but it is kill dependent. Switching this out for the busy little bee, I can get a very quick 20% damage buff just by firing my pistol once at one target before switching to my main weapon for a very fast, easy buff. But if you do manage to stack a few shots, things quickly get out of hand and it's just so good. Okay, I'll show you what I mean using the firing range at the base of operations as a testing round. For this, I'll be using my day-to-day -day build, which runs Vigilance Spotter with 54% crit chance and 178% crit damage. I'll be firing at targets 10 meters away using the Police M4 with max damage to targets out of cover, max expertise, and flatline for the talent. As a quick baseline, a headshot crit without using a sidearm for a buff is hitting for 827k on armor and about 1 mil on health. Using the Orbit to proc Perfect Finisher, giving a wasted 35% crit chance, but a wanted 40% crit damage buff, gives a crit headshot on armor at 917k and health at 1,110,000. Now for Busy Little B. First, for a quick test, if you only hit your target once before opening up with your primary, only getting 20% extra damage, I got a headshot crit of 993k on armor and 1,201k on health, already beating out Orbit and Perfect Finisher as a sidearm buff, and that's just with one stack. But if we start stacking targets and building those stacks up, the damage starts getting really, really good. In the firing range, I'm only able to tag nine targets, which is 180% extra damage. I'd love to go for the full 200, but this will have to do for now. With those nine targets tagged at 180% extra damage, I get a headshot crit of 2,482,000 on armor and 3 million to health. Firing like that for 10 seconds with an assault rifle with 850 RPM and a magazine size of 50 is a huge amount of damage. I also had a quick mess around with the Classic M1A, my secondary, to see what kind of damage I was getting, and I was getting headshot crits on armor of around 10 mil a shot. I think this is going to be an amazing addition to PvE, and I am genuinely excited to get this in the live game. I only hope that it manages to evade the nerf hammer before then. 
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for future Division 2 content. And as always, a massive thank you to my supporters over on Patreon for helping me make the channel the best it can be. If you would like to join them, you can support the channel for as little as £1 a month. You'll find the link to the Patreon in the description below. Have a great day, and I will catch you in the next one.